So for me, the very most important concept of all is satiety per calorie, right? The most magical and important concept of all. And it's definitely evidence-based as to what improves satiety per calorie. There's about nine things that are proven in the medical literature, scientific fact, to improve satiety per calorie. First one is increasing protein percentage instantly improves satiety per calorie. Second one is fiber, grams of fiber per thousand calories. You increase fiber, uh, you will improve satiety per calorie. The third one is a reduction in refined and high glycemic carbohydrates. So this is an evidence-based phenomenon. Uh, you know, if people eat just like juice and toast and cereal for breakfast, they're literally gonna eat 300 more calories during the day. If you reduce refined and high glycemic carbs, you will eat fewer calories. The next one is actually eating less fat. So unfortunately, the more fat you eat, the fatter you're going to be. It's passive overconsumption. And, and it's a scientific evidence-based fact that a reduction in fat will actually lead to eating fewer calories. In fact, you can take any animal and just pour fat on top of their usual food, and they'll just immediately passively overconsume and get fatter. Lower fat for satiety per calorie. Okay. And this is really, really important because all the keto people are like, well, that's stupid. I, I When I eat butter and bacon, I get tons of satiety. Like I eat a stick of butter. I'm not hungry for 50 years. Fat's the best for satiety. Uh, and what they're not doing is dividing that by calories and coming up with satiety per calorie. So like, yes, but eating a stick of butter gives you crap ton of satiety. Or you won't be hungry forever. Um, but that's a trillion calories. So satiety per calorie is actually garbage. And you'd be better off just eating um, some sort of lean protein. Um, lower energy density, lower processing, um, you know, less processed foods, the thermic effect is higher. You have to process it yourself. It burns more calories. You get, you extract more, less calories from it. Uh, we have studies where you just feed peanuts to rats versus peanut butter and they get fatter on the peanut butter. So, uh, protein, fiber, water, higher energy density, carbs, fats, processing, alcohol. You want all those lower, um, nutrient density, minerals and micronutrients. The higher those are, the higher static calorie. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's de these definite themes that are all evidence-based that all improve satiety per calorie and all make people more successful with a diet. And uh, the idea is you do a little bit of all of these all at the same time. And you can't go too extreme with any of them. You can't eat 100% protein forever and you can't eat 0% fat and you can't never eat any carbs. So you try to just take your existing diet and tweak all these levers up a little bit sustainably, a little higher protein percent, a little higher fiber, a little higher water less processed, less carbs, less fat, less energy density, less alcohol, um, more micronutrients. And you just tweak all of these as much as you can stand where it's sustainable. And that's, uh, that's honestly this whole PE diet concept that I'm talking about. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.